Cheers guys, and welcome to Uncle Scott's Pancast. In today's Pancast we are talking Le Creuset, Stowe, Costco, Nordstrom's, a little bit of controversy perhaps around Nordstrom's, uh, Falk, De Bouillet and more. Um, I'm going to go through some of the stuff I got in, do some unboxings and first reactions to a lot of the stuff I got on those Black Friday deals last week. Now is a great time to buy cookware and if you see something good jump on it and I bought all kinds of stuff. Now all this stuff I bought, I bought with my own money, none of this stuff was free and we're going to take a look at some of this stuff. First unboxing here I want to do is from Nordstrom's and I was really ready to heap a bunch of praise on Nordstrom's because they had Possibly the, the best Black Friday deal that I saw on anything, at least on one particular item. They had nine quart Le Creuset enamel cast iron Dutch ovens for 250 bucks. 250 bucks. Uh, one of you guys actually let me know about that deal. I had done a video with some of the other deals and I blasted that out there. I hope you guys jumped on it. Let's see what we got here. Lake Crusade from Nordstrom's. Let's open it up. Let's see what we've got. That $250 deal was only on one color of the Dutch ovens. Um, I actually, on a uh, red, kind of bright red one, I already had one of those, so I got what is hopefully eh, the kind of green. This is called artichoke, I believe. And let's see here. Pretty cool looking. Now I was very, very pleased with this deal. As a matter of fact, I was so pleased with it, I was thinking about it. And here's where the controversy comes in. I decided at 250 bucks, I'll go in and buy another one. And I will use that for some sort of giveaway or contest or marketing purposes around here. And I ordered it. And yesterday I got an email that said your order has been delayed. And then today I got an email from Nordstrom's that said my order had been canceled. I guess they ran out, what have you, but they had already put a charge or at least a hold on my credit card. And five days later I get an email saying that they're out and my order has been canceled. And that is slightly annoying. So at 250 bucks, I hope everybody jumped on one and your order was fulfilled. So praise to Nordstrom's for that deal, uh, for charging or at least putting a hold of my card and then not fulfilling the second order. Thumbs down to Nordstrom on that. Sorry to say. Um, next up. This one, I already took the shrink wrap off, but this is a stove. Enamel cast iron Dutch oven should be another nine quart. And I have two seven quarts. I've got a Lake Rousset and the stove in the seven quart range. When I make Rivalita in some of the big uh, soups and stews I make, they actually get fairly crowded. So I went to upgrade to the nine quarts. The stove, I went with the blue in this one. And this one came from Costco. And I believe this one was about $329. So in terms of value and screaming deal, um, I've never seen these less than 400 bucks. Nice. Got the darker interior. And I thought I was doing pretty good at 329 in the stove. Best price I saw on the stove, but really it doesn't match 250 for the Lake Crusades. If you can find the Lake Crusades at 250. One other point on those Lake Crusades. That deal was only on that flame red or bright red color. Uh, the artichoke I got was uh, $259. And then the dark gray, for whatever reason, was $450. So if you are not particular on uh, color, you can find some screaming deals on enamel cast iron Dutch ovens if you jump on them and if they fulfill your order. Let's see, up next. 
Let's go with this guy. Now I know some of you are going to ask about my knife. This is a Buck Folding Hunter 110, I believe. My dad got it for me. And although it is a Buck hunting knife, I've never actually hunted anything with it or skinned a Buck with it. It makes pretty quick work out of opening packages. This, I believe, is from Debouye. I hope you guys jumped on that Debouye 30% off sale. Because that's about as good as you're ever going to see in a sale from Debouye. Um, I buy all this stuff with my own money. Nobody seems to eat anything for free. So I actually jump on the Debouye sale myself. And let's see what we've got here. Disposable pastry bags. These are actually for my wife. As much fun as I get out of picking at her pan sauces, and admittedly, there is a lot of material to work with there. Her baking is actually top notch, and she wanted those. This is a Gruyere Mineral B Pro, uh, 11 inch, with 28 centimeter in the incomprehensible metric system uh, frying pan. And I got two of those. Uh, one of my wife's friends had borrowed one of mine and liked it so much she never gave it back. So I had to replace that. And we got another one. Maybe we'll give one away. More uh, pastry bags. And these should be some wooden utensils or fancy cookware. Um, the uh, carbon steel, you can use metal utensils in, but some of the other stuff, the enamel cast iron and the uh, uh, tin line copper, want to use at least uh, wood, if not silicone. And I got some of the, it's spelled um, B-O-I-S. Is that Bois or is that Bois? Uh, I think it's Bois in French, but these are the B Bois wooden utensils. Pretty neat looking there. And if it is Bois, what is the city in Idaho? Boise or Bois? -y? Who knows? And this should be a salt mill. Salt mill and nutmeg grinder. We're getting into the eggnog season. Also, when to make a real deal bechamel, we have to put a little nutmeg in there. And uh, sometimes I don't like scraping the whole nutmeg on the uh, grater. And then this guy here, good lord. This should be a regular series mineral B 14 inch carbon steel. Let's actually look this guy up. And this is going to be humongous. Cal is a big carbon steel frying pan. 14 inch Dupuy Mineral B. And look for some of these pans, or actually all of these pans, to be featured in upcoming videos. And on that note, this time of year is when I load up on cookware. Uh, this is not a normal week around here. Um, I buy all this stuff myself, and when I see the deals for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, somewhere around Christmas, I jump on them and I buy a bunch of stuff. And these are the pans and skillets and cookware that you're going to see in upcoming videos over the next four or five months. So while I don't have time to review them all at the moment, we can open them up and at least take a look. Next up, I think this is from Falk or Falk. Belgish, Belgium made stainless steel lined copper. And I've been using the, if you can see it, du parquet, tin line copper, still getting used to that. There's a learning curve there. I've been happy with my other uh, stainless steel lined cookware from the fall. We'll see what we've got here. Would be the 
32 centimeter frying pan in the incomprehensible metric system. People always get on to me for saying that. Oh wow. And I did go with the uh, stainless steel handle on this guy. Handcrafted in Belgium. But I do understand that base 10 makes a lot of sense, especially in a scientific setting. In the real world though, sometimes feet and inches make more sense. If you've ever been to Subway and bought a $5 foot long, you know exactly what that is. It seems like a pretty good deal. Five bucks for a long sandwich. If you walk in and say, of like a 30.48 centimeter sandwich, nobody knows what you're talking about. Foot long chili dog, we know what it is. 30.48 centimeter chili dog, no idea. And this is, I believe, around a 3 or 3.7 quart, I can't remember, saucier. Again, got the stainless steel handle, and the saucier has a flat bottom, of course, but more curved sides. So if we're doing a big um, bechamel or anything that needs a whisk or spatula stirring in there, should be easier to get in those curved sides. And I think Walk. Next up, and this one is a little bit of a curveball, and this is one of the ones, everything else I've used the uh, brands before. This is something new around here, and this should be some Smithy cast iron and carbon steel. They had a deal on what they call the perfect pair. And we do like a nice pair around here. And also it included, um, you spent over a certain amount, you've got a free, I think, a number six frying pan or skillet. Let's see what we've got here. Smithy, Ironware Company, US made. <laughs> Here's the small, number six. Uh, this was kind of the bonus on the Black Friday. Little bitty cast iron skillet. Might be good for one egg or maybe a hamburger. Now let's see, this is the cast iron 12 inch skillet. I was kind of hesitant to go with Smith. And it doesn't have anything to do with Smithy itself. It's that we usually focus on kind of high-end stuff around here, high-end cookware, but it's usually at the high end of mainstream, meaning that you can go to the store or get online and actually find it. It's like a Rolex or a Porsche or what have you. You can go to the Porsche dealer and buy a Porsche if you want one. And that's kind of the level of cookware I talk about around here. We don't really talk about uh, as much artisan and handmade stuff because sometimes, especially uh, I mentioned that uh, Brooklyn Copper, I've heard great things about it. I'd like to try it and I'm always hesitant to, to decide whether I want to actually talk about it or not because you can never find it. Uh, it doesn't do us any good to talk about cookware if none of us can ever get our hands on it. These Smithies, they're kind of in that artisan or handmade end of the spectrum. But just from looking online, it seems like they do have enough production and availability. So if these things are good, we will be able to uh, get them. Wow. So that is definitely a different look and feel. What I'm used to is Lodge cast iron and my mom has some old uh, Wagners. And this is definitely a different look and feel to what I'm used to. Now this um, perfect pair set that I got, you have the uh, cast iron pan, which also has a carbon steel. Let's look at the carbon steel. And the first question in my mind with Smithy is, you know, it costs 10 times more than my lodge cast iron skillet, it would be 10 times better. 
That's what we're going to do when we actually get around to reviewing these guys. This is the farmhouse 12 inch carbon steel skillet. Holy cow. Wow. So that is very interesting. Riveted handle. Not as heavy as it may appear. And there are, I believe these are hand hammered indentations around the sides, but a smoother cooking surface. Very interesting. I'm looking forward to doing well cooking not only this one but all of them, really in this carbon steel. And there are some other holders and various other mobile gadgets in here from uh, Smithies. Smithies. And this also said it was from Falk, but I don't recall ordering anything else from Falk. So we will see here in just a second. Oh, perhaps I did, but I think this is a cover for one of the pans for a lid for that uh, saucier. Okay, so that what that is what that is for. All right. Okay, if you're interested in what I'm pouring, uh, normally I have something a little stronger. I'm filming this before noon and. As a general rule, I don't do any drinking before noon. This is some Twining's Irish breakfast hot tea. Pretty good stuff. So I am like a kid on Christmas morning around here. Um, I can't post reviews of all this cookware um, in a short amount of time because I actually do a lot of cooking and spend a great deal of time on my uh, my uh, cookware review and uh, cooking feature videos. But we can do unboxing and reactions. And my first reactions to all this stuff is it looks all very, very nice. Um, make sure if you're doing any shopping this holiday season, if you run across a great deal, post it here and I will blast them out to everybody if I see something that looks good. Um, I think we've learned from Nordstrom's. If you see a good deal, jump on it. If you wait, uh, your order might get canceled and that could happen other places too. So that's my advice. If you see something good and you want it, you need it, go ahead and jump on it. Uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you again next time on Uncle Scott's Pancast.